Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to Rebirth, and the very first episode of Seed of the Week, where you guys submit to me the seed for a particularly ridiculous, awesome, crazy, or even terrible run you had, and I see how I fare, and we all get to enjoy it together. The seed today is RB to be is that not the question? <laughs> <laughs> and then we PE7, so we gotta go to the 7th PE room, and then we die. So, that is kinda sad. I'm choosing to play as Judas, and the reason for that is because he's got damage, and the reason for that is because, according to the submitter of this seed, this is actually a good run involving an item that I... Ooh, it starts with quad shot. I have not seen you in a while, mutant spider. Welcome. So, according to Mr. Submitter, this is a good run on an item that I, okay, calm down, on an item that I normally hate. And to give you a hint, he's normally associated, at least with me, with Blue Baby. So we're going to be checking this out, and I'm kind of excited. I really am. If it actually turns out to be as good as I am hoping. All right, we got ourselves the Dingle Dangle Room. Quad Shot is just wonderful. The damage it does is great, especially starting as Judas. It's, it is just lovely. Okay. Oh, and actually having Quad Shot with the item I'm looking forward to may in fact be ridiculously awesome. Down here, hey, we've got our boss. Fantastic, I'm just excited to get on with this. You come down and fly. Oh, there it is. So, I do hope that this seed actually is as good as I'm hoping and I don't get judas like, betrayed with the... I don't really know where I'm, what I'm talking about, actually. So, I'm just going to stop, I think. I think that makes, makes a lot more sense. Don't hey me. This is not for you. Well, that was very effective. Also, Judas's face with Book of Belial and Quad Shot is a little bit terrifying. Yeah, I'm cool to just move on. Granted, there was two tinted rocks, and we could have gone and got bombs, and we had Judas that was probably useful, but at the same time, I mean, I just want to wreck everything, and I feel like I have the power to do so, so why would I not? You can die, so can you. So much better than the inner eye. It really, really is. There is just, there's just no contest. Like, if there was a contest between the inner eye and the quad shot, the quad shot would make it its bitch. That's really all there is. I am so glad I didn't touch that champion there, otherwise we would have had a rapidly overrun, which would probably be a little bit embarrassing. If you guys could walk in front of the entrance, that would, that would be great, actually. Just, can you please... Just any second now, just walk in front of the entrance whenever you are ready. You just really, you really need to. And there we go. Full health. Kind of really pointless. A lot of champions in here. Gotta be careful I don't accidentally get sniped by them. And by sniped, I mean, I gotta be careful I don't accidentally be a moron and walk into one of them. He's explosive, which I could have done in the other room. The tower may be good. Ooh, okay. So we have rubber cement and quad shot. I am very much liking this so far. This is a, this is some quality seed. That sounds like the world's creepiest farmer. You need some good seeds. I got anything you want, sunflower. Other plants that have seeds. I actually couldn't think of a single other seed that is commonly, sesame, sesame seed. No, that's a street. Is sesame a seed as well? That's actually kind of worried me. Though seriously, quad shot bouncing tears? That is wondrous! I am so very happy. I won't calm down. I have chosen to do this. Though maybe Judas was not the best idea. Ah, oh, okay. Goodbye to you. I've got to go! I don't know what it is, but it's always fun to break into that song. That was a little bit worrying. What have you got? Oh! That is just perfect before the boss, and the boss is Monstro, so honestly, could it really get any easier than that? Because I'm thinking, yes, it could be Pin. We could just absolutely destroy Pin. All right, Devil Deal, we do get the caffeine pill, which is nice, and we have Guppy's collar. Do I really want to be a guppier? Do I want that? I don't want that because I'd rather have the health for a different devil deal and I'm not sure I'm gonna completely require guppy. Tears up, that's pretty good. We're actually firing quad shot bounciness 
pretty damn fast. So we don't actually have the ability to get that tinted rock. So I might just tower the room. Now I have a health and it wouldn't be the most embarrassing thing in the world to lose it. So let's do that. And yes, we are going to get ourselves the tinted rock and some money and an extra bomb for our trouble. So I think that works out really quite wonderfully. I suppose we'll go to the curse room and if there is a different guppy item, then I will, of course, get the collar, but there isn't even a curse room, so really, we're just wasting all of our times, and tears down, so, good, I'm, I'm, I am glad we cancelled out that pill, we wouldn't want to be having any unfair advantage, of course, so let us uh, move on down to the next floor, but already, this is shaping up to be a little bit awesome, you must have been beside yourself in this run, but... I'm still looking forward to, ooh, we get an Excel floor as well. That is really, really nice. Though it does mean that I may go to item rooms in different order, and due to the special meter, it might cause stuff to mess up. I'm not actually sure. Either way, I am very much liking this. I do like the kind of lighter looking tears, almost sacred heart color that I have going on. It's just, it's it's appealing to me. It really, really is. Oh, a room full of leg day. That's really not what you want. There are enough muscle thighs in here to make horses jealous. And the reason that's proper is because horses have quite the good muscles on their thighs. They really, really do. It's, it's actually ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Bouncing, 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 bouncing. I don't know what I expected that to do. I, I thought it would just bounce towards what I wanted it to, and then I realized it's not actually homing, so why would it? That's a really stupid thing for me to for me to assume. So I regret that, and I also regret that it's on camera. I feel like there's a lot of regret happening today. I just, you know, there's there's a lot of regret. Not as much regret as the time I had to have a phone call in the middle of recording a video. That was, that was really good. Small rock! Beautiful. The damage is real. The damage is excellent. And you may be thinking, how the hell did you have a conversation in the middle of a video? Yeah, I had to both say things that worked for the person I was talking to and made sense in the video, which as you can imagine is a little bit difficult and it looked like I'd just gone mental to both people. And honestly, going mental in the video kind of makes sense because occasionally, you know, only occasionally, I tend to lose a little bit of my mind, but, you know, not that often, not a crazy amount. Item! And we get ourselves a, a Satanic Bible, which is actually pretty damn good, but obviously I would rather have Book of Belial for that sweet, sweet damage up. I'm gonna trade a bomb for all of this money, because I think that definitely makes sense. Down we go. Hello, you. Don't care at all. Okay, fine. Apparently, you come in packs. I, I mean, that is that is quite right. I mean, I didn't know you were a pack animal, but apparently you were, and I'm not going to judge you for that. I'm really not. I guess there is strength in beggar numbers. It only makes sense statistically. I mean, if we look at lions, they're lazy bastards. It is ridiculous how lazy lions are. Like, male lions, they do nothing. Like, they're supposed to be the king of the animal kingdom, according to the fairy tale notion of them, but all they do is sit around all day moping, and then the lionesses do all the actual work. It's kind of a nice little metaphor for, oh... Not a metaphor for, oh, it's a metaphor for, oh, uh, I don't know why, but I didn't know how to react with that bomb, and I kind of nearly just walked into it, so that's a little bit awkward there. Two bounces should do for you, as well as you, and goodbye. Oh, whoa, there's a fourth one. There is a fourth one in here, and you'd never see the fourth one coming. They are learning. Oh, we do get a key for the other item room. Very, very nice. I do look very scared, though, I have to say. And a bit of crack the sky, which somehow, you know... I'm not gonna take over Book of Belial. I just, I just don't think that would quite be as an effective option if I had to really guess. Okay, so I really want to get like the Parasite or Split Shot. That would really make this a little bit incredible. I think we can all agree on that front. The Bouncing Tears, just absolutely wonderful. Goodbye to you. We're not one-shotting them, even with a full... Oh, no, we are one-shotting them, so that's good. It's just champions that are proving to be a little bit more difficult. And that was a lonely chest in that room. It really, really was. Just a very incredibly lonely chest. And we get the meat, which is obviously great. And then if we move into here, we get the Dark One, who we're going to Book of Belial on. 
I'm really surprised that hit me. I didn't actually think it would. I don't know what made me think that it wouldn't, but still, I reserve my right to be surprised. That is a basic human right, and at all times, you should have the ability to go, <gasps> when any given thing happens. So, we got the missing page, we got the nail, and we got the demon baby turret. None of these things I actually care about enough to spend precious hearts on them, so I'm just not going to. Hematosis doesn't really matter there. Health down, that really sucks. Full health, not really necessary, but I guess we'll keep full health just in case. So, an interesting flaw here. Nothing crazy adding to any synergies we got going on, but we are definitely building up quite the powerful little base here. We really are. So, let us move on with our lives and see what the next item room has to offer. As we move on through the coffins and other things, there should be a coffin floor that's like decorated like an actual coffin and you're moving through various zombie undead enemies. That would be a little bit, I mean there is obviously lots of zombie undead enemies, but I mean very, and I guess, you know, Kill Bill Lady could run at you and try and shank you with a katana. Not that you want to be shanking with a katana, I feel like that's a like a gross negligence use of a katana if you happen to own a katana. And if you do happen to own a katana, then, you know, I am, that is, that's fantastic. Katanas are great and really, I wish I owned one. I only own a little sod. That, <laughs> ah, I'm not even going to take that back. But yeah, I own a sort of like a short sword type deal. Technically, it's the blade that goes on the end of a bayonet, though you can use it as a weapon in itself. And it's a little bit blunt, but you know, that's for safety reasons. I don't think I should be having armed weaponry. But what I do like about the fact that I do own a bladed weapon is that if a zombie apocalypse should strike, I am prepared at all times, which is something very, very important. This is not an XL floor, it's just a fairly sizable floor. Bouncing tears, making the hollow feel a little bit hollow. <laughs> I am so funny and bad at this game because I should not have taken damage there. From timing. That is how to do the timing. That kind of sucks though because we are having to backtrack a lot to find our item room, though I suspect we really should. We're gonna get one more devil room, which is fine. That was a little bit annoying, kind of got hemmed in there massively. Don't you just hate it when you get hemmed in? It's just the worst experience. We'll go in the shop and find ourselves the heart over the humbling bundle, actually. I think that is definitely better. And then we will continue on with our lives Hello? Ah, item room, what do you have to offer? And here it is, everybody. Why I was excited to make this the first seed of the week. Because this supposedly is a good soy milk run. Oh, okay. There is a big part of me that is happy about this. Quad firing fast, bouncing soy milk. And my damage has still gone way down. But this looks like it has a lot of potential. Look at that! I'm like a human sprinkler! That is incredible. That is really awesome. Okay, I kind of do... Let's go to the boss. Yeah, let's go to the boss. Oh, we're on Necro 1. That wasn't an XL Necro flaw. That makes more sense. I was a little bit confused as to where the hell I was there. Oh, this is excellent. Okay, the Fallen as well. So we will Book of Belial. Oh, wow, we're actually killing him ridiculously ridiculously quickly to say we're soy milk damage. That is absolutely awesome. That is, and we get a free pact just for the sake of it. And then, oh, a second guppy's item. That's probably something we should have taken, but we've already... <laughs> it's so good! It is so ridiculously good! Oh, man, I am so happy about that. I really am. Okay, so should I take the guppies item? I mean, I guess I could go explore and find a curse room. We'll go in those red chests as well, because I would say being guppy with this combination is really quite awesome. This is insanely good, though. Like, really ridiculously awesome. I should go buy the humbling bundle as I take stupid damage in my excitement. And we get a free spirit heart, so that is excellent. Submitter of the seed, you are quite the legend. This is awesome. Actual good soy milk. I never thought I would see the day. I really, really never thought that I would see the day. 
It's, it's, it's almost beautiful. It really, really is. Okay, bad gas, bad gas. You're going to die to the bad gas. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Bounce, 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 bounce. So I can actually just coat the room in bouncy death, which I think is a little bit awesome. Like, there's no real place that you can hide in any given room because of the bouncing tears. That is so wondrous. Ah, oh, I have a good soy milk run, and I have freaking bouncing tears, which I love, and quad shot, which I've not had in ages. There is really not much to complain about on this run. Do I want to use two keys on this? I'm thinking I can do. I'm liking... Hey, we actually get the goat head, which is a little bit pointless, considering we have Book of Belial, but still absolutely fine. I am glad I did this on Judas, though, because the extra damage obviously just has to help when considering soy milk, but I am so glad this interacts in the way that it does, because it would be so, so lame otherwise. I mean, I don't really know what your plan there was, but, you know, it was it was a good plan, I guess, momentarily, and by good plan momentarily, I mean you're an idiot. And curse room? No curse room. Just a very surprised leech. It was like, oh, hey, there's an enemy! Oh... Oh, though I do like organisms that explode on death. I think they are rather good. So if you get the humbling bundle, it should sort out any future key options. And of course, we are going the chest. Any way to power up this combination is fantastic in my book. I just don't want to stop firing. It's just an absolute... It's literally the sprinkler system. That is the name of this combo. I am calling it right here. It is the sprinkler system. That is its official name, and it is wonderful. All right, let's move on. I really want to do the boss rush like this, which may be like something I'd never thought I'd say in Isaac. Oh, you have soy milk, and you really want to do the boss rush? Are you okay, my friend? I'm gonna take up his hairball just because we are gaining another red heart due to finding that eternal. So I will do just in case a guppies does happen. I'm gonna be upset if we do find the second item and because of my decision on the first floor, we don't end up having it. That would be really, really lame. But at the same time, hindsight is everything. It really, really is. And we do get ourselves an extra black heart as well. And the Hierophant, which is... Wonderful. Sprinklers! Nice. And we do get the two keys anyway. Boom, boom. And now we have kind of enough health to be okay with losing all red hearts. Wow, he really tried to get to me, but the power of the sprinkler system is really too much. You just, you just cannot conquer the sprinklers. They are all-consuming, all-powerful, and they will make you pay. They will make you pay dearly. They really do. But I love that you guys have been having runs like this. It's just really nice to know. Because I have a lot of crazy runs, and I'm like, people must get insane stuff if I'm getting stuff like this happening consistently. You know, like, Blue Baby slow death runs all the time constantly because I hate you, Blue Baby. <sighs> Sorry, had a little bit of a flashback there. That's, um, so uh, don't worry about it. I feel like if I just do this, they shouldn't be able to get past the sprinkler system. Yeah, they're like charging through it, but they're just not managing it. That is wonderful. So where is the last? Oh, it was it was you. It was you all along. And we've managed that. We'll bomb those two. We'll bomb those two. Kill him. And we do get a spirit heart, which is glorious in here. Any item roomage? Not that I can see. And there we go. So even if we miss with most of the things... We still get to hit them because the sprinkler system, of course, bounces off the wall, which is just absolutely awesome. It really, really is. Boom. Hey, guys. How are you doing? You're all jumpy and happy and dead. There's something quite nice about that. It's a good metaphor for life and death and everything that goes on. In fact, going back to the lion I was talking about earlier, it's, it's a good example of of a lot of things in the animal kingdom. Damn, I'm a little bit annoyed that I have to go the furthest away possible in order to acquire our item room when I still really do want to make boss rush. We certainly do have the time to do it. I'm going to leave the time on screen just as a constant reminder of what we've lost and what we could have. Boom. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. Actually, no, he's getting melted very, very quickly. 
as is probably expected by what we're rocking here. The sprinkler system knows no bounds. That was awesome. Come on. Did I get a spirit heart drop in there? I did. We'll claim that on the way back. We get ourselves two extra keys as we bomb that. Come on. And that is pointless. They work fine. Goodbye. Item room, where are you? I need the item room. Come on. Yay, here we go. And it is... Well, I mean, that was really, really not really worth it. Really just, like, really? Like, if I had to... It would be really. Like, really, it's just really not what you want right now. Okay, let us move on with our lives. Grab ourselves the spirit heart. I'm not going to do that final... Although, what if it's the curse room? What if it is the curse room? You've got to know these things. And it's just a golden chest room. Oh, I want the golden chest, though, so bad. And this, okay, that's not a cursed room. It's just random spiders. No, don't want random spiders. Get sprinkled. That could have been great if it was guppy. And if these are good, yep, yeah, pretty fly. That's fine. Tears up. That is excellent. Come on, moving on. Blow up, blow up, blow up now. And that was so pointless. All right, move, 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 move. We have a minute to get to and kill the mother. And I can't use Book of Belial because I need it for the boss rush. So this is going to be cutting it close. I don't even care about taking that damage. That was actually deliberate before you get all up rustling my jimmies. Because I know, I know how you are with jimmies and being rustled. Please let this work really well. Oh, if that was a secret room skip, that would have been great. Though I probably would have saved the amount of time that I would have lost by waiting for bombs to explode. So, it's really not a big deal. Time to be incredibly reckless. Alright, we are killing very, very quickly here. Which is, of course, excellent. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Die. We are very lucky we got a champion. That means we can have a lot of uptime on the meltage. Where are you? One more, one more, one more, one more. There it is, there it is. Let us grab the Polaroid. We have 10 seconds. Let's go into the boss rush. Ooh, technology, poison bombs. Well, wow, literally none of it's worth it. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? I wanted a really good item and to wreck the boss rush, but that is just... Oh, that is a shame. That is a massive shame. And thing is, I actually feel like I am in danger of dying to the boss rush. So if it wasn't for the fact that there was no items, I still would have done it. But I would have needed a boost from the boss rush. Coal is fantastic, though. Because now they're going to get even more damaging. And now there's a little bit of sewage that's got caught in the sprinkler, which is just upsetting. Cannot get that tinted rock, which again is pretty upsetting. And we do have one more devil deal. At least I'm hoping so. Yes, we do. Curse of Darkness means that our sprinkler system is even more invisible, which I think is just a nice little tactic against the enemies here. God, it is actually insane. Oh, Amnesia on a Curse of Darkness floor. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. I am so happy for this. Completely, absolutely incredible. Like, really wonderful. And so, so good, and I'm just so happy with my life, and all the choices I've made, and we have a bit of pin action. Come on, pin. Come on, I want to sprinkle all over you. But yeah, as I was talking about the lion, wow, he just went, he just exploded. As I was talking, the lion example, it's actually quite common in a lot of the animal kingdom, which is a little bit weird. Though I'm pretty sure male and female hippos are equally as lazy as each other, so that's something. Oh my god, look at how ridiculously powerful my clone is. Can I make my clone kill that for me? I mean, I don't actually know. Can I just... Can we... This is a little bit awkward. Okay, that was an intense experience. I will admit, I'm not quite sure what happened there. But I think we just need to accept it. Oh, there is another exit over there. Curse of Darkness with Amnesia is the worst thing in the world. Like, actually in the world. It is the worst. The worst thing. Whoa, calm down. Could really do with a little bit more on the health front. Like, I am taking a ridiculous amount. More pin? I didn't even know there could be more pin. That is awesome. Wow, that damage is insane. I am so happy about that. Please don't do anything horrible. Please, you can die as well. 
And you. Please give me a HP up. No, okay, what's in here? Gold chest. Can't really risk it at this stage. This guy, I don't care about, actually. He's very much not going to help. That guy, I do want to care about. But at the same time, I don't trust myself to not walk on the spikes right now. Because it would be disastrous. So I'm just not going to do it. Um, can we please... Sprinkler system him to death. Please, there it is. That was a little bit intense. We do have a key room here. We get ourselves the Book of Sin, which gives us a battery to reuse the Book of Sin. I love it when that happens, but unfortunately not really useful at all. I've had that happen about seven times. And I don't know why I was considering the relative laziness of hippos. It's just sometimes something that you need to think about. And I guess we're going right again. And then up. These guys should be fine. We do have two orbitals, which is obviously very useful when considering the bosses we're going to be facing. But if we could get shielded tiers, can you imagine shielded tiers on top of what we have? That would be incredible. No tinted rocks to be seen. Not that finding them is very easy in this situation. That is definitely true. Up, I guess. Hey, there we go. Found our boss. That is very, very good. Okay. Please don't be awful. Mama Gertie, potentially fine. We're just going to melt her very quickly. Wow, that was actually insane. And we do get ourselves an extra HP up. So we'll go in first and get Judas's shadow. What is up? with that what is up with that so what we're gonna do now then is uh, actually we're just gonna blow ourselves up twice i think that makes sense because i want to come back as use his shadow for the next floor just to get the damage and then we're just gonna take the hp up anyway so that is definitely good all right judas's shadow have we gained? No, we've still not gained a rung of damage, but we are definitely gaining damage. Our tiers do look sizably bigger, which makes me very, very happy. And on top of Book of Belial, we're actually going to destroy any given boss. It's just whether we can survive in time. No horrible curse, which is excellent. And I'm glad we managed to do that room. That room is normally very scary. I guess we'll have the Swallowed Penny just for the sake of it, but it doesn't really make a difference at this stage. Yeah, stuff is getting absolutely wrecked. Like, I don't often use the word wrecked. I'm not normally a rector. It's, that sounds too close to something else, but I'm not normally that. And it's just necessary in this. Tears up. I don't know if it can physically do anything, considering that we have soy milk. But it's still, you know, it's at least a placebo effect. And everybody does like a bit of placebo effect. Goodbye to you, Babby. We'll get the keys for no real reason. I just really want to be able to get to the chest. Because I feel like any given power-up with this is going to be wonderful. So we have Mum's heart to face here. So this should be kind of okay, all things considered. And there we go. And then you should get absolutely melted by the soy milk. And yeah, that was wonderful. So I'm kind of confident that Isaac will be uh, as uh, easy as that. And by the way, I've not obviously played these seeds in advance. I have no idea. So I'm, you know, being very trusting on the quality of the seeds. You've got to, you've got to have that seed trust. You really do. So we have ourselves. Uh, Mr. Ultra Pride. And I am going to take the left hand, mainly because I think they'll be tangibly more useful. The guppy items are great, but I'm thinking of the spirit hearts, whereas it's only really fate or cricket's head that we're looking for from a chest, but our damage doesn't really need pumping at this point. We have a judgment. Unfortunately, it's not a money judgment, meaning we can't get ourselves some extra HP, so that is a shame. That scared me. I didn't even see him fire that, so that could have been disastrous, and we get away with that quite nicely. So, a very interesting layout for our cathedral. Very actually like a church layout, of course. Traditionally, they are shaped in the shape of a cross because, you know, symbolism and all that. 
So I'd like to imagine it was deliberate, even though I know that it's technically not a single red chest. Nope, I do not wish to be a part of you. Wow, that was a lit- Yeah, that is just, like, poor Duke of Flies. I mean, he always gets, like, absolutely annihilated, but I feel like that was extra bad. Like, he especially just got destroyed there. And that is, that is a shame. I mean, it's not too much of a shame. Like, I'm not that upset. But I do feel a little bit bad. Like, I'd send the, the wife of flies some flowers, I guess. That's, that's the extent of what I'm talking about here. And the hay is real. And we do actually have an extra spirit heart, which is obviously great. We need all the health we can get. And all the help we can get. Just generally, we need a lot of useful things. This damage is insane. It is definitely akin to, like, Polyphemus Mega Eve's Mascara Tears, yet we have soy milk. It's like some sort of wondrous miracle has happened. I wonder how badly we're going to kill death. That's actually ridiculously good. Although I was very much convinced the horse wouldn't get that far, but I guess I was wrong in my assumption and I got hit and it was... It's very sad. But yeah, animals. Lazy. I guess that's the theme of today as we enjoy the sprinkler system. Boom, but a boom. I'd love to see if you guys can uh, beat my time on this. Or, in fact, some of you take it to the lamb. That would be awesome. Goodbye to you. I, for some reason, was like, where's my item drop? Because I just decided that I was guaranteed one there. I don't really know what I was thinking. Need to make sure I drop the left hand. That was a great place. Bomb self. Didn't even notice the other tinted rock there and even more spirit hearts this has been a very good cathedral for tinted rocks and enemy rooms in general like that was very very easy oh monstro 2 i'm going to kill you because it's monstro 2 electric boogaloo Step up to the dance floor, please. Monstro would be very good at karaoke, I think, because he'd do his laser thing and kill most of the audience, and then when most of your audience is dead, there's no one to really tell you that you're bad at karaoke, so by default, you can just decide that you yourself are very good at karaoke. It, it does make perfect sense. All right, Isaac, fire the sprinkler system! Oh, that is glorious. That is so awesome. I am killing Isaac fast with soy milk. What is life? Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Didn't even get to spawn your angel babies. That's how much of a failure you are. Oh, this is... That was... Oh, that was... That was... I, that was... I, I'm, I'm just so happy. I am just so happy. I really, really am. Curse of the unknown. That is... Oh, I forgot. I mean, it was deliberate because I knew that I could um, get the pentagram. So that was actually the correct thing to do. So there you go. In my defense, I was just ecstatic at the soy milk. Should I get the pentagram? At least. It's better than... I don't need spooky ghosts right now. Because there's nothing that flying really does for you in the chest. Ooh. And the spirit hearts were great. And the dead cat was actually great. So I don't care what you say. They were better than anything else we would have got. Though I would like to know what they were actually supposed to be. But I think I actually just really gained from that. Though at the same time, I could be guppy right now if I'd bought the first one. So that, that irks me a little bit. Because imagine the fly generation when you are rocking this. It would be quite ridiculous. Well, you did try. Whoa, everybody. Come down there. That was, was what a hell of a party. And we get the common calls. We're going to have a little bit of green going on. Ooh, very occasionally. So it's actually a really nice representation of the look stat is this because we have a lot of tears going out. So it's almost like a line graph. The sprinkler system helping statisticians from the far and wide. Statistician sounds like such a cooler name when all it means is someone who analyzes statistics. It's really kind of upsetting, actually. Hey, Death's Horse, who gave you the permission to do that? Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. Lust getting all up in my face. I like how Raf went, no lust, no, stop it. Just stop it and just bomb blocked her. I bet she is going to be mad in the big sin house. Imagine a reality show where all the sins are put in and made to live with each other. Almost, you know, like Big Brother, but with the seven deadly sins. I think that would be an incredible experience. Where are you, blue baby? You have a date with death, and I don't mean the horseman. I mean my sprinkler system. 
Probably not the most aggressive name for a weapon of war you've ever seen, but at the same time, I think its subtlety is what makes it so powerful. There we go. That was worth taking damage for, just to annihilate that room. I also do like having the dance move with war. You know, it always feels pretty good. Thank you very much for my orbital there, preventing me a bit of damage. But at the same time, having the dead cat now gives me a extra layer of security, because I can just kind of go for things. I'm going to get a spirit heart, hopefully, off that, and we didn't. Maybe should have killed him last, though I'm not entirely sure that is how it works. So where is our blue baby? Again, not a sentence you want to often say, but sometimes you just gotta find out. Well, this room gets us absolutely nowhere. Thank you so much. I just feel like there is one just very sick individual who decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna unleash a load of spiders on this room. They're not gonna do anything, but they're just gonna frustrate whoever walks in here. And, you know, and then I'm gonna video camera it. Yeah, video camera it, because I don't know what technology is. And then I'm gonna sell it on the internets for many monies. And that's his entire plan. To be fair, that would be... Ooh, let's become Magneto. That would be a very good practical joke. Lock someone in a room full of spiders. Record it. I mean, they may die of a heart attack, but at least you get a laugh out of the whole thing. And we have found Blue Baby. Hey, stop it, Dingle Dangle. Stop it. And here we go, everybody. Book of Belial is on. Can it be done? Can the blue baby get sprinkler systemed? I think we know the answer. The answer is... Potentially, I have no idea how much health I'm actually on. I could be one hit away from death and not realize it, which would really be an anticlimactic ending to the first ever viewer seed of the week. And boom! So there we go, everybody. The first viewer seed of the week, RB2BPE7D. A fantastic soy milk run, and I may have derped a little bit. Either way, let me know what you think of this, and if you have had any particularly good seeds, email me them to the email in the description. Isaac Rebirth Rage, I think, but check the description to make sure and give me a brief description of why the seed would be good. For example, this one was a actual good soy milk run. I was like, yeah, I'm doing that. So, it, you know, it lets me know it's going to be awesome without spoilering it too much. So, yeah, go for it. So, congratulations to the submitter of that. That is the first seed of the week. I'm liking this. It's a nice, refreshing way to see how you guys are getting on in a Rebirth. So for now, my name has been Rage. Remember to like if you've enjoyed this. It really does help, and I do appreciate it. And subscribe for more. Goodbye. You've been watching.